The way I started DJing is I used to be a break dancer, and it just kind of grew from there. Uh, as a matter of fact, my, my father used to be a DJ, so, you know, it's just kind of like who I am. Uh, when, when you say way back, when I say way back in the day, it could go to as early as when I was born because music is, uh, has been part of my life and, and is my life since uh, the very beginning. Uh, I just met my, my real father like uh, recent, like five, four or five years ago. So uh, yeah, and like I said, I you know, found out that uh, he was a DJ as well, and uh, that's what's so cool about it. Our, our paths have been uh, parallel, and we didn't even know it. Yeah, I'm kind of going through a difficult time right now because I just met him a few years ago. And, uh, and he's sick and, and we're not sure how much longer he's going to be around. So he came into my life just so he can leave my life again. Um, so, uh, and, and I don't understand why that happened, but uh, I'm sure down the road I will understand. It'll all make sense. to the gig. He had just gotten out of the hospital from his uh, operation and uh, he was in a wheelchair and they put him on the stage behind one of the speakers uh, in the wheelchair so he could see. You know, he could see me, he could see the crowd and he told me afterwards, he goes, you know, you are living what I, o I could only dream of. Um, so for me that was quite a, 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 it was quite a moment, heavy moment for me because, uh, you know, to, to kind of be living um, a dream that your, you know, your, your, your parents kind of had uh, when they were young is, it, it means you've kind of done something. I didn't know much about him, you know, him and my mother split up when I was one. Um, so, uh, and that's when I, you know, I moved to the U.S. Uh, um, shortly thereafter, and, and so I really never knew too much about him. But when we were chatting and, and kind of like uh, talking about life paths, uh, our lives paths and, and all, uh, it was like really kind of uh, cool to kind of understand where this passion for music and this uh, kind of uh, different way of thinking uh, comes from. I didn't think like other kids. I didn't listen to music on the radio the way other people did. I, I kind of always analyzed music and always tried to think of music uh, it, you know, in a different way. I was probably the only kid in the school who was a break dancer. You know, I'd dress up in the Michael Jackson outfits and, and people just thought I was really strange. And it is something in the, in the back of my mind used to tell me like, well, yeah, but you, do you really belong here with all these other amazing musicians? And after meeting my father and understanding who, what my DNA is, now when I'm in, on stage in front of 30,000 people, I look out and it's like, I belong here. This is, this is what I was put on this earth for. <laughs> 